I went to check on my mailbox and apparently I got fair loot for December. This is only like the... what is it today even? <laughs> What's the day today, Logan? The number! It's only the 16th of December, so this box came super early. Uh, don't be worried if yours hasn't come yet. I'm fairly certain I just got really lucky with the post that it just like got here quickly, I don't know. But anyway, regardless, I'm gonna go and unbox this. So if you are awaiting this box, please don't watch any further. <laughs> I'm excited. Oh man, where are my scissors? Nail it is! <laughs> this is gonna take a while. So if you didn't know, Fairy Loot. Fairy Loot is a subscription box that uh, basically focuses on YA fantasy books and usually include a fairly recent or not even out yet release. I always link all of the box websites down below, so if you fancy checking out the shipping cost or the cost of the box, then you're free to do so. It's just down below. Ooh. I realized that it would have been faster now to just like go and get the bloody scissors. No, no. No. Well, now it's just a matter of principle. <laughs> and this is how it looks like. I think it was like oh so real or something. Something with like Disney. So we have the card and I can see that there's a Pop Funko. Well, so I knew that there's gonna be one, so I'm just gonna put this away so you can see first what I got. <laughs> what is it? Is it good? Is it pretty? <gasps> oh, cool! I got Simba! As a kid, as I, I had this like really weird notion that I didn't like Disney because I didn't like the way it was painted, basically, which was stupid. And if I could go back, I would smack my little child in the face. Oh, I shouldn't say that. But it's me. I'm talking about myself, so it's fine, right? <laughs> because it's great. Like, so I basically started watching Disney properly when I was like 18 or something. Uh, the only one that I think is by Disney that I've constantly watched was Mowgli. Is that by Disney? Yeah. Cool. So yeah, that's the only one that I used to watch and then obviously I got into it. So I'm not like as crazy about Disney, but I did like Lion King, although my favorite is still Hercules. It's just, it's just the best. I don't know why is it so underrated. I feel like no one ever speaks about it. It's all like Beauty and the Beast and Lion King and I'll, I do like them both. But like Hercules, man! Reason for rambling here is that from all of the characters that I could have gotten, I'm very happy with Simba because that's something that I actually know. <laughs> I much prefer an animal pop over like a princess one, so I'm fairly certain in the boxes you could have gotten different ones, so I'm gonna be watching everybody else's unboxing <laughs> to see what they got. Should we take it out of the box? We shall take it out of the box. So this is how it looks like once you take it out of the box. I think it's extremely adorable. And this actually even moves a little bit. I'm fairly certain you're not supposed to really move it a lot, but you can if you want to. Moving on. Very next thing that I'm grabbing is this promotional bookmark for the Red Queen, which I haven't read. <laughs> and then we has a small candle. So this is by A Court of Candles. Oh hey, yeah, I rearranged my shelves. <laughs> so now they're sort of like arranged again. I feel like I should have said that at the beginning. Yeah, I got Prince Aladdin. And there's a little quote on the side, says, when did you last left your heart to side? Got a little bit of a confession there, I haven't watched it yet. Maybe I will. No, good that I have a candle. <laughs> oh, cool, sweet. That's really beautiful. It has this like little pouch for your basically pens or like I suppose makeup brushes, but I, I probably wouldn't do that. <laughs> oh, it's actually like waterproof inside. So this one's virtuous and fair, royal and gracious. And it's by... William Shakespeare. Oh, it's a notebook. I thought it was gonna be like a chapter to read from, but no, no, it's like a small notebook. And it says, to look powerful is to be powerful. And it's but a quote by Victoria Aviard. Is that the, that's the woman that wrote this, no? Yeah, that's the woman that wrote the Red Queen series. Honestly, I don't really use small notebooks. I'm very much of a like a A5 and bigger. But hey, size is better, right? <laughs> because of that, I'm gonna give it to Logan. <laughs> get it? Get it? Get it? It's such a horrible joke, I'm sorry. <laughs> so yeah, the next thing, we actually do have a chapter or like a sampler from Rosemar by Livia Blackburn. So that's that. I thought it was, I was about move, to move on to the book, but no, there's one thing more. Oh, that's really cool. So we have a keychain that is completely metal and it's a book's rule and I really like the design, I'm not gonna lie. So, I like that. And then moving on to the pouchy, and once I open the pouch, this is what the book is. That's not a book, okay, wait. There we are, this is what the book is. 
uh, Everless. Oh, the cover really reminds me of something. By Sarah Holland and on the other side it just says Blood is money, time is power, desire is treachery. Welcome to Everless. I kind of like the sound of- ooh, look! <laughs> Easily distracted, look at that! That's pretty cool, it has like red serpents and stuff and underneath is actually red! I don't mind the cover of this but I really just sort of want to undress this one as well because it's so beautiful underneath! Just to read a little bit of a synopsis In the land of Sempera, the rich control everything, even time I remember there was a movie sometime like that that you would have your like time left to live as currency on your like a chip or something on your hand and then you had to go and do shit to like be rewarded with time left to live what's that movie all right so after a quick look at the actual synopsis it seems like this is a book about uh, a world where the royalty or the rich control time and time is like a currency and uh, our main character Jules and her father are low on time and behind their rent so she goes and gets uh, a job in Everless which is some sort of company I don't know oh no it's the grand estate of the cruel Jerling family and then I think she might needs the heir of the family and I think there's gonna be some sort of desires <laughs> you know as usual but anyway I am quite intrigued by that actually Maybe I should try and actually read this one soon. <laughs> so as well as the book and the pouch, we get the signed book plate. Fairyloot code specific to you to find yourself a buddy. Mine one uh, is Fairyloot123126. So if you are Fairyloot123126, then let me know. We're gonna do a little happy dance or something. <laughs> then we also, as always, get a bookmark that matches the theme card. I like these. A dear reader letter from the author of the book and a fairy scoop and this one also has like a little bit about the author and stuff like that uh, recommendations what to read next after you finish this book and uh, clues for the next month so the next month is talk fairy to me <laughs> I really really like the design of the next month by the way I think it's really adorable you can expect items themed on throne of glass and a court of thorns and roses I like that one. <laughs> as well as general fairy related items. They will be re revealing more sneak peeks on their Instagram as per usual, but uh, we know that we're gonna get an exclusive pillowcase designed by Evie Bookett. As a massive fan of Quarter Mist and Fury book, uh, I am very excited for January, let's just say that. Anyway, just completely rambly this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it either way. Uh, sorry for the sound outside. What can you do? It's Christmas, there's people celebrating stuff. Hope you guys are having a good day and I will see you the next time. Bye! Is it Aladdin or is it Aladdin? Aladdin! Why? Name. Isn't it Aladdin? No, baby. Is there a name Aladdin? No. Huh.